Hello everyone, welcome to the another virtual class of political science. So today we'll be discussing about US Senate and Indian Rajya Sabha. We'll do a comparative study. We'll make a comparative study between US Senate and the Indian Rajya Sabha. Okay, as in the previous class, I have already discussed about uh, the powers and functions of Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, House of Representatives and the Senate. So there we have discussed almost all the important aspect of uh, both the houses separately. So here we are going to make a comparative study of uh, Raj, that means uh, Indian Rajya Sabha and the US Senate. So if you have not subscribed my channel till now, so please like subscribe and share so first of all let me tell you that uh, both these houses are the upper houses of the respective parliament okay u.s senate is the upper house of u.s congress and indian Rajya Sabha is the upper house of uh, indian parliament okay now you know that uh, composition also we have discussed separately so for making you more and more clear making a comparison so composition you can see here u.s house of senate or you can say senate has the members of 100 u.s has how many members 100 members senate of uh, u.s parliament has got uh, how many members 100 members okay and the next one indian Rajya Sabha has the member of uh, 250 here we have 100 members here we have 250 members okay so this makes us clear my dear that uh, here we uh, in usa 50 states are there so out 50 states and 100 members means uh, each states represents two members so the seats in us senate is based on equality all the states are treated equally whether small or big states two representatives will be elected for the senate two members will be elected for the senate whereas 250 here it makes us a, a clear idea that uh, here the seats are determined in Rajya Sabha on the basis of population some some states have larger population so more um, Rajya Sabha seats are there in Rajya Sabha okay so maximum number of members uh, are represented from Uttar Pradesh because Uttar Pradesh is the largest uh, sorry it is the highly populated state in India so based on population based on equality okay now based on equality now next one is elected how these uh, members are elected okay so u.s senate member the senate members the senators are elected directly so from 1913 onward 1913 onward the election of the senate has been made uh, direct through a 17 amendment act in the US uh, Constitution uh, indirect election was replaced that means the senators were elected indirectly before now the indirect election was replaced by direct election that means through direct election means uh, the powers of the senators has increased many fold as compared to the members of Indian Rajya Sabha so here the members of uh, the Senate or we can say that the senators are elected directly by the people of 50 states okay and here the Indian Rajya Sabha members Indian Rajya Sabha members are elected indirectly by the state assemblies as per the number of seats allotted to them so they do the election okay so here the members are elected directly here the members are elected indirectly okay now next one we have is term term so you know that both the houses are permanent house okay senate is also a permanent house and indian Rajya Sabha is also the permanent house okay but the member has a term of how many years six years okay so every second year one third of the members retires and new member comes in so that is the process so it is a quasi permanent house it is a permanent house old ones go out new ones come in comes in okay so that is why it is a permanent house now let us discuss some of the important uh, powers we'll make a comparison of some of the important powers like uh, if you talk about the legislative powers uh, uh, house of representative along with senate they enjoy co-equal powers okay and uh, lok sabha and rajya sabha they enjoy co-equal powers in terms of uh, ordinary bill now the most important thing over here is that uh, money bill so let us discuss first about uh, indian rajya sabha so 
money bill in Indian Parliament can only be introduced in Lok Sabha, not in Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha can keep the bill for 14 days. After that, if it is not written back, it will be declared as being passed by the Rajya Sabha. So in terms of money bill, Rajya Sabha has no role. Okay, they are not at all important or powerful regarding the money bill. But here, here in US Senate, my dear, in terms of money bill, in terms of money bill, money bill, though it is introduced in House of Representatives, but the final shape of the money bill is decided by the Senate. Final shape is decided by the Senate. Okay, so now as compared to Rajya Sabha, uh, Senate has uh, extraordinary powers also, like uh, as it is a directly elected body. Right. So when a president uh, chooses some of his presidential secretaries before being before appointing them, those presidential secretaries need to be approved by the Senate. So the president depends upon the senatorial courtesy. If the senators refuses to appoint the secretaries or ministers chosen by the president, then nobody can interfere in it. So. The president, the, 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 the choose, that means uh, the members or the secretaries, whichever are chosen by the president, needs to be approved by the senators. Okay, so here Rajya Sabha, uh, here Senate is uh, powerful because as we know that in a presidential form of government, president is powerful, but here we understand that there is certain checks and checks over the president's power also. President can choose, but uh, approval for the appointment of the presidential secretaries which we also known as council of ministers are to be approved by the senate okay now next one senate has some extraordinary powers also like i told you that uh, uh, president uh, can uh, conclude uh, treaties with other countries but all the international treaties and agreements again here need to be approved by the senators but here in the case of uh, india my dear that is not required though all the international treaties and agreements are signed in the name of the president okay but actually it is done by the prime minister and the council of ministers that there the role of Rajya Sabha has nothing to do so senate senate is a powerful second chamber in the world that we are going to discuss after this okay so you can say u.s senate enjoys special powers in act and it acts it, it, it acts as a checks upon the president of usa all major appointments as i told you are to be approved by the senators all the agreements treaties signed with other countries are to be approved by the senators okay and uh, definitely senate also uh, makes committees particularly uh, in order to investigate the working of a uh, different different departments okay so all these are um, as compared to rajya sabha senate is powerful Okay, so in terms of ordinary bill like uh, money, uh, ordinary bill, both uh, Rajya Sabha and uh, the Senate enjoys co-equal powers as with the Lok Sabha and House of Representatives separately. But in terms of money bill, who is powerful over here? We see Senate is more and more powerful. So this is a short, uh, this is a short comparison between u.s senate which is the upper house and indian rajya sabha which also the upper house indian rajya sabha is known as council of states okay u.s senate represents the states of uh, u.s federation okay so this is all about this is all about uh, the comparison between senate and rajya sabha okay both are the upper houses of uh, indian parliament as well as uh, uh, US Congress respectively okay so this much for today from this topic and the last topic which we'll discuss in the next class is all about why is Rajas why is the Senate known as the most powerful second chamber in the world okay so thank you very much for watching it so take care stay safe bye bye